Hey, what's up? In the last video, we were able to get our comments into the comment thread of the post itself. So you were able to click on any post here in Reddit, and then it will actually load the comments and display them in card views in a list view. In this one, I'm going to add an on-click listener to the image view up here and then open the image, open the post in a web view. So let's go to our project and we'll go into the comments activity and down in which which method the init function I believe no nope. in the init post method here we're going to attach an on click listener to the thumbnail so we just grab the thumbnail I uh, the thumbnail name which is right here go thumbnail set on click listener new on click listener and then we're just going to log that we actually clicked on the thumbnail itself so I can go opening URL in a web view and then just type out the post URL here. Then we're going to create an intent, just like we always do when we're navigating to another activity, because we're going to be using a web view activity. So I'm going to call it a web view activity. Oh, sorry, that's actually what's going to be at the end. So let's go back here. This is comments activity. Got this. There we go. And get rid of that double period there, and then uh, we're going to attach an extra. So intent uh, put extra and it's going to be the URL so just put the post URL in here and then we need to start the activity with the intent okay so before we create web view activity let's actually create the web view layout so we'll go over here to the layout files and create I don't know why my Android studio is very slow right now I'm just going to call it web view layout and inside of the web view layout we're going to put a relative layout because those are my favorite types of layouts and we're just going to create a web view we'll do match parent and match parent and we'll give it an id should be only one web view in this project so i'm just going to call it web view just to keep it nice and simple and then we're going to add a progress bar in the middle of the web view i'll just do uh, i can do 100 dp and 100 dp ID will do web view loading progress bar. Center horizontal true and center. Actually, I can just use center in parent true and I can get rid of this center horizontal. And I can set the style from one of my other progress bars. Not one in there. Comments layout. I will find one. There we go. Grab this style here and paste it in there. And there's our progress bar. And then we're just going to add a text view just like we did with. Um, actually, I can go back into activity comments. And we're going to add a text view just like this one right here. So just stick that in there. And we're going to add the ID. There we go. And I'm going to change this to loading. I guess I could say loading web view. No, I'll say loading web page. There we go. So there is going to be our web view layout. So we can close the layout file and let's go back to comments activity. I'm going to copy this name, web view activity, go up to, where do I want to put this? I'll just put it in the main directory. So go to new Java class, create the web view activity, extend app compact activity, insert your on create method, set content view to the web view layout. And let's go up top and create a log. Okay, let's actually declare the widget. So we'll declare our web view widget. Uh, oops, web view. And we'll declare the progress dialog, or progress bar, sorry. Which one is it? Web view loading progress bar. There we go. And let's just log that onCreate has started just because. And then we use intent and get the incoming intent because remember we attached some extras to the intent and we it was the URL that we got so we'll do intent dot get string extra and it's gonna be URL. I'm gonna do webview dot get settings and we can set JavaScript enabled. That's pretty much the only setting that I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna just load the URL. And that should be good. Oh, we need to set the progress bar. So we go web view, set web view client, and then on page, what is it? On 
new on page, something like that. I don't know, it's new uh, web client open brackets, and then we can create on page. I think I can actually insert that method. On page finish, there we go. And then we can go progress bar dot set visibility view dot gone. So we'll hide the uh, hide the progress bar once it, the web page is done viewing, and then up here we'll actually go progress bar dot set visibility view dot visible. There we go. So as soon as the app this uh, activity gets created, the progress bar will become uh, visible, and then as soon as the web page is done loading. We'll set the, the uh, progress bar to gone. So there we go. We need to, we've got some red in here still. I'm not sure why. Oh, I have to import this because it's from another uh, directory. So that's good now. So let's go into the manifest and we need to actually add the new activity. So we need to add our uh, web view activity. And I think that should probably be good actually. So let's, uh, let's run the app and give it a test. All right, let's choose a subreddit. Usually I go to pics, so let's go to pics. And I'll just choose a post at random. Still loading the comments correctly, it looks like. Cool, and let's click on the image view up here. And it looks like the web view is beginning to open. You can see Reddit, everything's looking good so far. Still loading that web page. It took a while, but yeah, looks like it's good. The progress bar went away also when the web page was done loading. So everything, look oh, this right here, this loading web page text, we need to get rid of that. So we're gonna need to create uh, text view, um, you know, loading text, I don't think I gave it, um, I don't think I gave it an ID, progress text, okay, and so down here I will go progress, it's not final, loading text, that text and set it to nothing. All right, let's run that again. Go to subreddit, choose a post, and click on the image. Looks good. Loading web page is down here. Just waiting for that to finish loading, and looks good. The text got went away, and we have our post, and everything looks good. So that's going to be it for this video. In the next one, I think I'm going to um, add the dialog box for when you click on a comment and you want to leave a reply. So right now when you click on these, it does nothing. In the next one, when we click on these, a dialog box will pop up and ask the user to in input a comment. And I'll also add that to the reply button. So when I click the reply button, the same dialog box will pop up. Don't forget to leave a like. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.